Hello and welcome to the Google Analytics tutorial series. I'm Matt Landers, and in this tutorial, we'll discuss how to troubleshoot and debug your Google Analytics setup. We'll cover Tag Assistant, Debug View, and Real Time, and we'll learn how to use each of these resources to ensure your setup is working correctly. This topic is much easier to understand visually, so let's go ahead and jump into each of these tools and see how to troubleshoot our setup. All right, we're in the analytics property for the demo website that we've been working on during the tutorial series. And the first thing that we're gonna look at is the real-time report. Now the real-time report is a great way to get a sanity check that data is actually flowing from our tagging setup into analytics. But it does kind of have a few flaws. And we won't dig in too much here because we have used this report in the past, but let's just check it out, see how it works, and then talk about some of the problems you might run into trying to use it to debug your setup. All right, let's go to reports, go to real time. And what this is gonna show us is any activity that's happened in the last 30 minutes. Now we'll see that I do have some activity here because I have clicked around on the site, but in the last minute, the very last minute is shown here, there's no users. So what we can do now is we can go over to our site and we can start to click around. So we'll go to the home page. maybe we'll scroll down Maybe we'll go to the about page. Maybe we'll go down to the bottom here and fill out a form. All right, and go back here. Maybe we'll click the tweet button, get some more events flowing through, and then we'll go back over to our property and we should see that event hit. And there it is, right on time. And now we know that we have created some activity that is showing up in this report. Now, the problem that we're gonna have here is how do we distinguish the activity that we just generated from other activity that's already in the report? And that's where the other tools will be a little better help for us. But the real-time report does give us a great access to the data that's come through. For instance, we can go over to our events, we can click on page view, we can see all the parameters that come through with that event, like page title, we can click on it, and we'll see all the values that have come through for page title. So this is a really easy and great way for you to see that data is flowing from your tagging infrastructure into Google Analytics. But the other tools that we're gonna jump into next are much more powerful. All right, so let's jump over into Google Tag Manager and see how we can preview our changes, which will basically take us to Tag Assistant to debug our setup. All right, now we're in Google Tag Manager for our demo site. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get to Tag Assistant from here. If you're not using Tag Manager, that's okay. You can still get to Tag Assistant. But if you are, it's super easy. Just go up to the top right and click Preview. You don't need to make any changes in Tag Manager for this to work. It just works if you click Preview. That will open a new tab to tagassistant.google.com, which you can go to if you don't have Tag Manager and go through the same process. All right, it's an asset to connect to our site. So you just put in the URL of your site. I'm running this locally, so I just have localhost here, and I hit connect. Now that's gonna open a new tab with our site in it, but there's one difference. We now have this tag assistant floating pop-up here that shows us that we are connected to tag assistant. All right, so now let's go back over to tag assistant. We'll click continue, and let's see what we see here. So first in the top left, we can see our Google tags that were found. We have our Google Tag Manager container and our Google Tag for our Analytics Config. Now, these are very similar. They show a lot of the same data, but Google Tag Manager will show more data because it's got more under the hood that it's working with, like the variables tab here. All right, on the left, we have our summary, and the summary just shows you all of the hits that have come through or all the tags that have fired. If you're using Tag Manager, you'll see the tags that have fired, but you'll also see the tags that have not fired. So you could go click around and try to get these to fire and have them show up in the tags fired and you would see that in the summary view. But even cooler than that is on the left, we have a timeline view of all the pages that we visited. So when we open that tab, we ended up on the home page, uh, but we haven't gone anywhere else yet. So let's go over to our tab. And there's one little thing I wanna point out here too at the top is that we have this query parameter that comes through, GTM debug. That's gonna be useful in a minute when we look at debug view, so keep that in mind. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click around, we're gonna go to about, maybe we'll scroll down, we'll go to newsletter. Now let's go back over to Tag Assistant and see what's happened. All right, on the left, now we get this timeline view of all the pages that we visited. First, we were at the home page, 
then we were at the about page, then we were on the newsletter page. And you'll notice that there's five events that always happen. We have consent, consent initialization, we have container loaded, DOM ready, and window loaded. After that, we'll see other events that fire based on user activity. So right now, we could go back over to the site and scroll down, go back to Tag Assistant, and we'll see now we've added some new events. We have scroll depth and scrolls. And then we can dig in to the data that's sent with these events or triggers. We can go to variables to see any variables related to them. We can go to data layer to see any data that's associated to them. For instance, here we can see that the scroll threshold was 90 and the scroll units was percent. So this is pretty cool. We get a very granular view of what's happening in that particular session in that tab that's connected to Tag Assistant. Now this is very different than real-time report where we had where everything was cluttered together with other events that had happened from other users potentially. For instance, if we go over to our site that's not connected to Tag Assistant, and let's say we click around here, right? Then we go back to Tag Assistant, we're not seeing these come through. So we're not getting a cluttered view of what's happening like we would in real-time report. But if we go back to the one that is connected and we go to the home page, we go back to Tag Assistant and we'll see now home is at the top. So this is a really great way for you to isolate the events that are coming through, get a good idea of what data is coming through and make sure that the tags are firing that you expect to fire. So now we can go back to our summary uh, for our tags and we'll see we still have only fired this config tab. So let's say that we wanted to fire one of these other ones. We have our share event and we, let's say we were trying to test that and make sure that it's working. We would go over to our site, we would click the tweet, which we've connected to the share event in a previous tutorial. We go over to Tag Assistant, and now we'll see that our share event is here. And we can click into that to see all of the data related to it. We can see that it is, uh, we were, it was a Twitter click, uh, because that's the data that we were sending through. And this is a really great way for you to validate that what is, that the tagging that you have set up is actually executing the way that you expected it to. All right, I think that's a good overview of Tag Assistant. Let's dive into Debug View and see what the difference is there and what we can see. Okay, now we're back in our analytics property for our demo site and let's navigate to Debug View. If we go down to Admin and scroll down in the middle column, we'll find Debug View as the very last link before Product Links. We'll click on that. And now let's take a look at what we see. On the left-hand side here, we can see a summary of all the events that were sent through. And in the middle, we have a real-time timeline of events being sent through. And on the right-hand side, we have a summary of any debug events that were sent through in the last 30 minutes. Now, the only events that we see here are from sessions that have debug enabled. And the way that you can do that is through Tag Assistant, like we were just using, or you can use the Chrome extension for Google Analytics Debugger, which there's a link to that in the video description. Now, you're going to see the exact same data that you saw in Tag Assistant, just displayed a little bit differently but we're also only going to see data that made it into Google Analytics. Whereas in Tag Assistant, we could see any tag. We saw our Tag Manager tag and our Analytics tag, and we would see any other Google tag there as well. All right, so if we scroll down, we can look at some of the events that we've sent through. If we click on Page View, we'll see all of the parameters that were sent through for that page view. And we can also click on the Summary, which gives us another cool view of all the page view events that were sent through and the times they were sent through. So it's a different way for us to view those events, not necessarily in order of each event, but just for the page view events, when did they come through? And then we can click on each of those to see their information here. All right, in this tutorial, we've learned how to use real-time reports, Tag Assistant and Debug View to check what data is making it into analytics and validate that our setup is working correctly. Hopefully this is really helpful for you as you go on your journey of tagging your site and validating that you're getting the data into analytics that helps you light up those reports and make solid business decisions. All right, go out, try out these tools, and until next time, happy measuring.